All right, let's get into a game, shall we? What's a, what's a, what's a game? What's a game that I could just get and just have? Dial Town? If Dial Town is on this computer when I search it up, then I'll play it. It's on it. Okay, let's play Dial Town. What path are we going down this time? What were we, look as we did, we, 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 we got one person, I think. Randy? Yeah, let's do it. I've put off this game long enough. Okay, as a, as, a, as a Christmas gift. I think I should put on the 18 plus warning for this. I don't think I've ever done that, but like, I just feel weird not having it on, so. Stolen kidney and a bucket of bloody dice. That's kind of sick. I remember, I remember like, when I like, when I like last, <laughs> when I like last played this game, I remember I like stuttered for a bit when I entered that. Now, final question. What gender do you want to be? Boy. Leave your tent. Where'd you like to go? Oh, I didn't mean to press. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, leave your tent. Hold on. Where'd you like to go? Okay. Where do I need to go? Where do I, where do I have to go? Do I have to go uptown? Uptown. Okay. Summon a... We can only summon a local hobo. That's all we can do. I forgot about this game. I am so sorry. <laughs> the hobo of Dial Town. I summon thee. There it is. This is what you guys wanted for Christmas Eve. Uh, yo. Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. The name's Hound. You need something? Nice to meet you. Are you new around here? New. Pal, I'm the oldest thing alive. Uh, even, even older than like a dinosaur? I don't know why I'm talking like this. Okay, counting dead things is like cheating and stuff. But yeah, I'm older than pretty much every dinosaur I've met. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. Same here. Same here, buddy. I am God. <laughs> okay. Uh, I created everything around you and farted out the cosmos and the stars. I'm not saying the last bit because I'm family friendly. I have a big deal, actually. <laughs> created everything? Well, yeah, most things. Not everything. Well, yeah, you guys did some of the work, but to be fair, <laughs> I bet we did more than you. You know what? Fair. You ever leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box only to find a new species of all for the remains of your chicken Thai curry from last month? This world is my takeout box and I'm the hungover dude gazing upon as an infinite possibility and disgust and awe. <laughs> and awe. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to meet you. Uh, let me think, let me think. I gotta get going. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush? Uh, I gotta lay me some legs. I'm, I'm, I'm heavily pregnant. Now, <laughs> oh, hey, one of those reptile fellas I made a few million or so years ago? Not judging, just saying. You guys are weird. What do you mean, what do you mean no? Why are people saying no? You could have punched him? Yeah, of course I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna punch him. Why would I, why would I punch him? It's a dog. I am not a terrible person. I would never punch a dog. <sighs> All right, here we go. Where'd you like to go? Oh. <laughs> Hold on. How to do the Randy route uh, dial town. I mean, I'm not searching up anything. Pause. This doesn't have me. I just read what I have to do. Um, people smile. You don't see it. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, let's, uh, downtown, downtown, let's go downtown, we gotta go downtown, we gotta, we gotta, god damn it, oh man, you guys, you guys better get me, like, streamer of the century for this, you guys better get me, like, a, a, a billion sub subs right now, okay, <laughs> A nearby pole teleports directly to you. Ah, what the? Hope to notice something, anything, that'll somehow get you up in, into that fun fair. Hmm, let's see. Okay, let me read the first advert aloud. Well, Hi, I'm Froggles the Clown. A whole different cuttlefish. Bigfoot is real. Clowns are not. 
Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods and is only ever th seen through hazy disposable camera footage. Exactly, he might as well be my uncle. <laughs> clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? People don't lay eggs. You lay eggs, my point exactly. Imagine having a head discovered covered in disgusting flesh with a red bulbous tumor attached to your face. And yet, they drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow balloons and dance jigs at a drop of a hat. As if such absurd antics are menial. They are truly wretched creatures. Huh. I had no idea that you felt this way. Okay. So, should we skip over Frongle's advert then? Let's. All right, there's two adverts left. Uh, a phone a phone hotline and a rent a chimpanzee service. It's your pick. All right. Uh, okay. We have we have to do this. I I don't want to do this. I real I I really don't want to do this. But according to the internet, according to the internet, we have to. Okay, let's see here. <sighs> Phone hotline. Somehow, I don't think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. Wanna bounce? You have any better ideas? Consider again the bounce. We're calling the number, damn it! I'm so, so, so sorry. Okay, okay, if you insist. How are you even gonna make the call? The nearest phone booth. Away! I don't think it's, I don't, it doesn't actually show anything. And if it does, I'm just gonna turn off my stream. Alas, here we are. Dial Town's only phone booth. Since half of like all people got their heads replaced with rotary phones. I don't think this, I dare say that this thing has had much use since then. Booth feels bigger on the inside. It seems to use that ability solely to contain far more filth than this one particular <laughs> should be able to contain. Oh, come on. Is it really that bad? Well, for starters, there's a small, strong smell of urine in here. All the buttons in the keypad are sticky with cum, and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. Uh, can I name the raccoon? No, you'll just get attached. <laughs> Come on, we can name the dead raccoon. Glumpo. What did I just say? I'm sorry, it was an accident. His name is Glumpo. <sighs> You're not keeping it. I'm keeping it, that's final. Damn it. <laughs> Yay! We have Glumpo. Guys, we did it. We've got Glumpo, baby. <sighs> Ready? Sure am. Read the number out. Good, good show. Glad to see some enthusiasm. The number is, uh, enthusiasm was for naught. I don't get it, what's the number? It's, uh, 1-800. <laughs> uh, okay, it's that. I'm sure you're, you sure you're ready? Never been more ready in all my life. Huh. No dice. <laughs> Bastard phone! Yeah, it might be less the phone's fault and it's more so yours. Not putting 25 cents into the, oh. Uh, 25 cents, who do they think I am? Winston Churchill? Why'd you lay on his name of all name? Never mind. I don't want to know. I, look. Point is, you need to figure out what you're gonna do now. You're senseless. So, what's the plan? <laughs> just, uh, oh wait, it's key for it's 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 it. Wait, I just realized I have accidentally had a filter on this because it's what I use for MCC. There's a chroma key on this on this game the entire time. I'll just bang my head really hard in the phone box and hope that it works. Oh, please, like that ever work. Oh, there's there's sound effects. Hey, it worked. Oh, that actually seemed to work. Hi, right, never say that again. Oh, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to say anything. Whoops. What? All right, here he is. Here he is. We've we've got him. We've we've got him. We've got him, everyone. We've got him. What, what should his what, what should his voice be? Let me think. Ah, my name. No, hi, my name. Hi, like that. It, so, it sounds kind of like that. Yeah, you know, like hi. My name is Randy J, and I'm feeling randy for you tonight. I'm sorry. My boss forces me to say that. I really should have just lied about my name. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying that. <laughs> That's quite all right, Randy. How are you doing tonight? Oh, yeah, you know, same as always, which is never great. 
so, sorry about talking a little, taking a little while to pick up the phone, by the way. I'm actually at work right now. I mean, of course you are. Don't you work at the hotline? I mean, yes, of course I do. But it's only a side job. I have to make enough to pay my rent, which is laughably high. So what exactly is your main job, then? During the day, I work as a bird wrangler for Dial Town Animal Control. I'm uh, kind of in the middle, so doing a hostile swan right now. <laughs> Did you just say that you're fighting a swan? I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan, more that I'm... ...trying my darndest to subdue and capture it before it wreaks havoc. Uh, you sound like you're crying. Can't let that swan sw I can't let the swan sweet. It already knows it's physically and mentally stronger than me. I can't let it know that it's also emotionally stronger, too. I'm sorry, hi. I got all caught up in our swan talk. You see, most customers call kinda, you know, later. Only weirdos tend to want to talk dirty with a complete stranger on their lunch break during a 12-hour shift at the Dialtown Battery Factory. I, I mean, no offense. <laughs> Randy, you are horrendous at this job. Oh uh, no, local battery factory, you say? Wait, has anyone ever told you that you act like you think that you act like the elf who wants to be a dentist, but I don't think but you do? Wait, pause, what? Excuse me? What, wait, what? What did that say? Well, no, I'm pulling I'm pulling that up. Hermie the elf, what is that? This guy? Who is this guy? Hermie the misfit elf. Right before Christmas, and everybody is getting this one misfit. Kirby! Aren't you finished painting that yet? There's a pile up a mile wide behind you! Damn. No, you're right. No, you're right about that one, actually. No, that's- that's- that's true. No, you got me with that one. Damn. Okay, cool. Uh, recommended is a nesting location for a heavily friend's eggs. I'm gonna say- I'm gonna say that I'm holding them in a backpack. That's what I'm doing with the eggs. I mean, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Um, uh, test compatibility. Sure. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Is that your sexuality or your dating policy? Are you kidding me? I even sound someone willing to tolerate my presence. That's marriage material. I I, I felt that one. I felt that one right here. Wouldn't that just be hilarious if you like rolled over though? <laughs> like what if you just like rolled over into the active volcano and then you just like, you know, <laughs> stop being heavy. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> that or they're acting nice because they're trying to steal my organs. I felt that one right here too. Uh, fool me once. Um, <laughs> don't pick this one, please. Pick a number between one to 15,323. I'm going to say, Two. Going to say two. There you are. Two. Was that to you guys? That was to that's to me. I am answering the question. Not you. Not you. Okay. In that case, will you take me to the fun fair, please? Uh, are you are you asking me out on a date? Uh yeah. Uh, well, it's less of a date, more of an egg laying arrangement. Who cares? It's technically a real live date. I've never been asked out on a date before. Usually I'm the dude asked to beg people to go out for coffee with me and to resist the urge to throw the scalding beverage in my face during the sword ordeal of taking me out. So you're in? I sure as heck am. What do I have to lose? Well, I could be like a serial killer and murder you for your skin. Well, as I always say, at worst, this will probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. Damn, Randy, you okay, man? <laughs> Good? Do you need like a hug or something? So, when do you want to do this? Does right now work? I mean, uh, I'm gonna work right now and that's a wrangle self. I've got a big backpack full of eggs. Yeah, I, I understand. It's now or never, Randy. I, all right. I guess I can leave in a few minutes. So take your time, my sweet. It's okay, my time is actually worth very little. It's better if I just run so I get all Sweaty, and you can't smell the scent of Swan Massacre and desperation over my overwhelming body. <laughs> okay. My manager asks later, I'll just say that the Swan won. It always does, anyway. Catch you at the fun fair, my, my sweet. <laughs> See you later, cutie pie. Take the phone lower that my pants were already wet with Von Martin Swan's life. <laughs> Otherwise, I have to change my pants right about now. 
I'll see you there. Randy's a gem. Well then, looks like you weasel your way into the fun fair after all. Well, what do you think of him? Personally, I find him awful in every conceivable way. Well, what about you? I think he's, I think he's cute. Not surprised, in all honesty. You aren't? Nope. I mean, you eat roadkill. <laughs> That's, that's, you got a, you got a good point there. After all, what is Randy if not the dateable equivalent of roadkill? Come on, let's go. You've got a date to attend. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We've got a date, guys. We've done it. So what now? Uh, leave the area. Where would you like to go? Hmm, let's see. Um, bar? Okay, let's go to the bar. Okay, okay. Randy's like you in 20 years... If you never became a streamer. I'm just thinking about the implications of that real quick. Yeah, probably. Okay, okay, I've got it. Hear me out, hear, hear me out. Okay, so you know how gambling is always a wise idea. Uh-huh. Hmm, my well, idea is basically I should gamble. I don't know if that's a good idea. Why on God's green earth not? Well, firstly, the idea of gambling is that you put money in Lady Luck's a gambling pot and either win double what you get in or get nothing. Yeah? Well, considering you often need roadkill fresh off the ground, yeah, trust me, I know. Well, what does that have to do with risk? Tapeworm. Sorry, go on. To take a financial risk, you need to have starting capital. You know, unless you're like a bank or a sketchy construction slash real estate company. And may I remind you that you're penniless? Well, oh, this sucks. This is America. <laughs> it's my God-given right to gamble. God given, at least 60% sure that the whole ring law is such versus against shut up. You're getting torn apart in this stream? I always do. I'm gonna, I, I always get just like, just, 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 just torn into every, every stream, right? But the thing is, is that at the end of the day, I still win because you are still watching me, okay? Because, you know, no matter what I do, at least I'm not a Rambu live enjoyer. <laughs> Do all fun things require money? Yes, absolutely. I'm afraid so. Yes, literally without exception. What about devouring gravel? That's free. Only because you refuse to pay for the gravel. Uh, you know that most construction sites in the city have a photo of your mug plaster on every noteboard in sight along a shoot on site notice, right? Ah, uh, shoot. So what are my options? Well, right now, you're dirt poor, which is already the typical endpoint of gambling. So, really, you just cut out the middleman, who in this case is a blackjack dealer in a bow tie who smells like whiskey and vomit. Oh, what do most people do at this point? Go through a lengthy divorce and drink heavily, typically. Right then, to the bar I go! I forgot about this guy. I'm so upset that this guy isn't a dateable. I'm so pissed. So pissed. Wait, did I do Dial Town before or after I came out? Before? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> And everyone was just like, wait, so like, and everyone was just like, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, he's, 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 he's good. So everyone, so everyone saw me like, you know, uh, that, and just no one thought of like, well, I'm sure other people thought of it, but everyone was just like, to be fair, people, people were just like, you know, too scared to like, you know, cross boundaries and everything, which is fair, which is nice. I think you should do that with anyone. Um, but like, it's kind, it's kind of funny. What were we supposed to do? I, I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's like it's like the same thing of like when I when when like I like see like when I like used to see like art or something, and then like people would be like, or people people would like start to be like, whoa, this goes against boundaries, and I just like the art, and then people would just be like, oh, it's very it's very funny. It's very very funny. I'm just like, dude, if I if I see stuff that makes me uncomfortable, I'm gonna say it. So yeah, all right. Pierre, my name is Pierre. I'll be your barman tonight. I don't know what voice this is. <laughs> your name is the same n name as the Wooden Dock Canoes Park. What did I just say? Um, yes, yes it is. So, what's your poison? <laughs> Sand me a drink. Pardon? Mr. Mr. Sandbar, drink drink me some sand. <sighs> are you are you having are you having strokes? Sand. <laughs> What a beautiful fucking sound out of that. Oh, okay. I, I think you've already had enough to drink. Uh, funny. Since I haven't even served you yet. Uh, sorry, pal. Says you're only 19 per customer. <laughs> them's, them's, them's the breaks. 
<laughs> Understandable. I have other questions, though. Uh huh. All right, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave this guy. All right, take care. Oh, I wish that he was a dateable. I feel so sad. That's for. Am I just doing something wrong? Is that what it is? Do I need to start eating roadkill? I was roadkill. No, uh, you guys know the roadkill story of when I fell off my bike and my first thought process was I'm gonna take photos of this because this is really funny. I, I literally was roadkill. I should show those photos one day. I don't know. I, I might. I might show those photos one day. Oh no, I lost my pen. You can borrow mine. Thanks. I lost something once. So anyway, thanks for the pen. No problem, huh? Let's go. Let's go to the fun fair. Let's go to the fun fair. It's fun. It's fun fair time, baby. Ah, uh, you ready to meet Mandy at the gate? Uh, sure. This will end up being a good time. I just know it. That's the spirit. Come on, you've got a date to catch. Where is he? I forget what he looks like. Oh, oh no. Ticket Jer- uh, Don't worry, guys. Watch this. Hey, sugar, miss me. Oh, that was smooth. That was smooth. I'm going to have nightmares about you tonight. I can feel it in my bones. Look, persistent goblin, as I said, I'm not willing to just let you in to get you off my back. And I'm not willing to take you myself. So unless you're suddenly able to pull a romantic partner out of your... Oh, he's just he's coming over here. Who is he? Randy. Did you actually manage to rope some poor sucker into paying you into the fun fair? Or is this some kind of bizarre and whimsical distraction designed to hold my attention while your weird stomach enzyme dissolves the gaping hole in our fence for you to climb through? Uh, no, he's a real human being. You mean a human? Like, a person? What, what are you implying? That I'm not a person? Name one human you know who lays eggs. Uh. <sighs> Bro's the Rizzler, stop! I learned, I learned what, like, Riz meant, like, like, like a month ago. I've actively just avoided, I've never said it. I think that's like the first time that I've actually like said the word on stream. I don't, I, I, I barely, I barely know what it means. I, I barely understand what it means. Like all, all the, from, from what, from what the context, from the context of what it is, I have gotten the fact that it's kind of like charisma or it's like, it's like natural, like it's like being suave. That's what like the definition that I've gotten from it, which I think, which is, which I think is correct. All right, sorry. This, Alleged Randy person. I actually know a few Randys, you know? Wait. Randys? R Randy? Rand Randy? So why is he doing this? I, I just didn't realize, but you guys didn't see it, so okay, I'm gonna camera off. Yeah, but why is he doing this? Why is he doing the. I okay, I realized I, I said this, and you guys. Why is he doing that? I know a Randy or two. Say, does your Randy happen to be really pale and scrawny, covered in bandages? Constantly smells like sweat, desperation, and swan rage? Uh, yeah, that sounds about right, actually. Yeah, I'm glad Randy's got someone to spend his Valentine's Day with this year. Aw, poor Randy. Quite a pity this, with a literal cryptid who just wants to use him as a pawn in their egg-laying plan. Hey, that's not fair. Randy and I are extremely close. Name one fact about Randy other than him wrangling swans, wrangling, wrangling, wrangling swans and people's wieners. Oh, <laughs> I thought he meant like hot dog. I'm, I'm sorry. His name begins with the letter R. Pathetic. Shut up. It's correct. I just, okay, I just made like four facial expressions. It, it was the flosh emoji, basically. <laughs> hey, sorry I'm late. I had to roll around in a puddle and get the swan blot off my clothes for the big date. I kind of like Randy. I kind of, oh, hold on. I kind of like Randy. Oh, who am I kidding? We both thought the blood was exclusively mine. But, but hey, you look marvelous, my sweet. I love, I love Randy. So do you, Randy. You look cuter than I pictured over the phone. You must be a roadkill possum, because you look like a snack. <laughs> yeah, we, we're going to do that one. I, uh, I don't know how to respond to that one, to be frank. Though, if I did have a response, it'd probably be, uh... Are you saying that you eat roadkill? 
astounding. I just want to pay you in so you can lay your eggs and lay their eggs in a moist pit somewhere in the fun fair. Oh, I mean, you, yeah, I, uh, I knew that. You knew? And still, you, you came? Beggars can be choosers, Jerry. Brandy. Ah. <sighs> Fine. Dear funeral, I suppose. That'll be two dollars then, Randy. Okay, I should have that two dollars. I uh, should have about two dollars here. Maybe slightly less. Y you know what? J just go right in, Randy. Uh, r really? Yeah, I've had enough of this wretch of a creature for today. You tell, uh, uh, not choosing that one. Tell about me or Randy? Obviously you. Right, right. I was just making sure. Randy, please just get this creature out of my sight. It, yes, sir. Come on, come on, hun. Hun. Let's go do the romance, like a couple of lovebirds. Romance, you say? Yay. Ladies first, hun. Hey, I, I made you no man, but I, I, okay. You know what? I'm just happy to be directly referred to in any context that isn't scroll crushingly scathing. Uh, after you. Aw. What a, what a guy. Well, well, here we are, my love. The Dial Town Fun Fair and all its grease soaked safety inspection failing glory. So, my love, what shall we do for eggs? Eggs. Oh, uh, right. You want to just uh, uh, lay those right now? You, you know, get it over with? Okay, hon, just let me quickly brace myself. Sh sure, all right. I, I, if you need to, I guess. I've never laid eggs before myself. Not that I can, you know. I'm sure it's hard to do without... This is a Christmas stream. I just... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jesus. My bad. I'm sure it's hard to do without, uh... Sufficient bracing. I'll just, uh, give you some privacy and let you get to it. Pained grunting. Agonized grunting. Y you okay, hun? Distressed roaring. Call me hun. I feel special now. <laughs> what's, what's the matter? Aren't you, like, Evelyn? <laughs> uh, backpack full of eggs? I've got stage fright. Ah, right. Uh, so, uh, what, what now? Hmm. I can always go on a few rides and shake the eggs out of my backpack. Wow, that's absolutely wretched. But, I mean, I guess we can try rides, eggs, now. Anything for you, my love. My love. Wow! Radical! I wish Randy could be my dad! Could this be? Could this be the feeling of love? No, wait. It's just your ace squirming inside the backpack. <laughs> Phone Lord, I think I'm gonna hurl. I swear, if I have to go one more vomit coaster, fear not, dear Randy. I'm ready to lay. I'm ready to take the eggs out of my backpack. Oh, good then. Right, uh, right here? Yes. This ditch is squalid and dank. Damp and thoroughly moist. In close proximity to the hot dog stand. Yes, a perfect nesting location. Right, uh... Do you need me here for this, or fetch me a hot dog mating partner? I, I mean, I can, I can do that. Sure, egg laying is a strenuous ordeal. I require sustenance. Fine, fine. I'll, uh, I'll be, I'll be right back. With one f quality fairground wiener. Ah, who am I kidding? We'll know that there will be rat tails, pigouves, and horse jerky in the sausage. True. It's true, actually. Okay, so I guess it's time to... The sounds of the damned. 
Yay! Huh, well, would you look at that? They're, uh, defensive Neanderthal hunting. They're, uh, beautiful? Proud Neanderthal hunting. We did it, guys. Oh, and there's my wiener. Hey, on, I'm back. Oh, no. Huh. Suppose these be your eggs, then. Aren't, uh, aren't they beautiful, Randy? Yeah, they're, uh, they're... You're quite, uh, green. Thank you. Thank you. You're, uh, you're, you're welcome. You're, you're very much welcome. So, uh, what now? There's some topsoil over the eggs and, uh, good. My babies are safe and sound. Okay. So like, uh, the, the, the eggs have been laid, but the night is still young. We should, like, seize the moment. Deem the carp. Deem the carp. Deem the carp. Let's deem the carp, guys. Yeah, what shall we do first? Go play some dumb carnival games? Ride the hot dog stands? Raid the hot dog stands? We wouldn't I have to walk to all those places? Yeah, a little 10 meters that way. Family bonding experience? Please tell me that that's not true. Oh dear. Here's that Randy wants you to walk 11 yards to your left. Oh God. Oh no. I just laid out little eggs. My legs are jelly. My legs are limp. Yeah. Also, never use the word limp around me again. Thanks. What do I do? Okay, calm down. Just look for something to do. Something slightly closer than 10 meters away. That you can crawl over to if you have to. Crawl, hot dog, activity. I'm sorry, what? Uh, also, maybe stop talking to me in front of Randy. You're probably scaring him because you sound like a wounded feral animal right now. I am a wounded feral animal. Hun, are, are you all right? He keeps on saying hun, and I keep on like, I keep on like blushing. Oh my God. A genie glass of water, whatever come of whiskey and batter your lightly consumes. That nectar. Oh, and you just said the word panic out loud. Fortune teller. What, what? Look, Randy. Exactly two, easily crawlable. Meters that way. Is that? A fortune teller animatronic. Madame Mediocre. Look, I, I don't know. I kind of have a, that sounds like a bad idea, but dear Randy, do you want to go gaze into your future? I mean, my present is already bad enough. And the sign says that machine's out of order. That won't stop us, Randy. I don't know. I think seeing the next, hopefully much less than 40 years of misery I have left in this hellscape of an orb that once just destroyed the last fabric of my future. Look, I, I can't be here right now. I'll, I'll see you around. No, wait, no, what? What did I do? What, what, what? See you around. No, come back. I. That's, that's odd. Seems like Randy really didn't like the idea of hearing about his own future. I wonder why that is. I mean, like he said, look at his present. Probably know his future could be an improvement though. Oh well, we both know that. What does getting promoted from a swan wrangler lead to? Poor guy, <laughs> poor guy. I don't know. Swan therapist? Swan ambassador? He'd suck at those jobs. He'd suck at them. Swans hate him. <laughs> Swans hate him. Plus, maybe Randy being promoted is just a pipe dream anyhow. I mean, would you promote him? If he had the credentials, I mean, I guess so. What credentials would even help in this case? Being fluent in Swanlish, getting a bachelor's degree and not being maimed to death by a swan? To live at the park for a while, like I do. B build up some street cred. In this case, pond cred. Yes, it's pond. Uh, Come on then, let's go home. I thought I couldn't walk though. Sorry, let me offer correction. Let's crawl home then. Ah. Uh, goodbye, my children. I'll return to you all when I can. Yeah, yeah, circle life and all that. Let's just go. Wait, so where's Randy? Did I screw it up? The following morning. Aw oh, man, I think I screwed it up. 
Uh, here I am, awake and unfortunately alive, or fortunately alive. Hey, that's a, that's a good change of pace. Another fine morning indeed. Oh God, I hate being alive. I need a distraction of some kind. Good morning to you too. Narrator, distract me. I, uh, do you know the dragons are actually real? They're just really high up in the sky? There's also some closer to the ground, but we can't see those either since they're all invisible. You're a liar. How dare you feed me such falsehoods? The, uh, the epitome of worthless lies. Oh dear. Do you know that ketchup is actually just tomato nectar? You are distracting me from not. Jeez, fine. Well, you could, uh, stare at your light bulb while close for a while. Try to bring your optical sensors out so you don't have to see your boring surroundings are. Capital idea. Let's see here. Oh, wait, what? Are those little microphones? That's a lot of flies. Wait, I'm trying to find I'm trying to figure out the joke. Wait, what's the joke? Having microphones as as as, as flies. What's the what's the joke there? Tell me while I open up this Oreo package that I have here. I got mega stuff because I plan to die when I'm 30. <laughs> no, I don't. It's just more possible because I'm taller. Like a buzz. Oh, that's funny. Okay. That's a lot of flies. Sure is. Just hope you clean the place up. It's still February. Well, that's all my literally clean uh, later. Actually, you're gonna remember to get it done this year? Oh, child labor, that is. Really a no, isn't it? Also, definitely, yes. Mm hmm. How about a handy theory? And suddenly, the narrator has decided to eat Oreo for some reason. What is such a weird creative decision that he has made? Where do I even go? I don't know. You can go to the local bench? Do I have to sit down? Well, legally, no. But why go otherwise? Hey, boy, I can see exactly something I do daily, you know. Fine. You know what? You want to go to the bench and not sit down? That's fine, too. No, I'll sit down. Oh. It feels like something's about to happen. What's in this rain? Bench. That's right, Rambu Live. You weirdo. This is really engaging to be frank. Oh yeah, well you managed to sit on a bench despite your cruciating agony. Which is quite impressive, don't get me wrong, but not much any of that activity. Other than not trying to look too agonized. Most passing strangers think you're taking a really strange jump, that is. So what now? Hmm. Always look around, gaze at the local scenery. Delightful, yes. Where's Randy? Where is he? The old trees. Hello, trees. Christ, you're easily amused. Yes, but I also bore easily. Hmm. Where's Randy? Okay, I'm bored again. Why not wait a while before using up the distraction? Yeah, the boredom, it's unbearable. Seriously? Okay. Let's just go look at something else. Where's Randy? I want to look at Randy. Is that a paper shredder swan? Behold, the mighty swan. Hmm. No, it's been a long time since we've seen one of these puppies up close. I mean, they're not puppies, they're swans. Swans. Shh. Please hush now. Make me. Ha! <laughs> Whoa! Sorry. That was my soul. God, these things are terrifying up close. Why do we give them paper shredders for heads? Fantasy of having office ones was a ridiculous one, alright. Bless you. Thanks, guys. Means a lot. And a messy one. You know, this just now occurred to me why Randy had bandages on his hands, since he has wrangled these f feathered shredder dinos on a daily basis. My chap, you went on a date with us night. The dude with... Written on his forehead? Oh, he did? He had that? Yeah, that's the guy, alright. Wait a moment. Wait. What? You having one of those ideas again? Companionship! Oh, yes, companionship. I agree. I... Companionship with Randy. I can find Randy. He can, like... Say and do stuff to and in front of me. Boss, what? Would you like cure my bo boredom? Yeah, that's the idea of social interaction anyway. Really, to alleviate boredom. Well, yeah, kinda. Please revert to the handy interaction pentagon. <laughs> As you can see, boredom is the key reason we interact with others. With bug facts, violence, tax benefits, and love being the other four less important things. Why bug facts? I just think they're neat. That's fair. Anywho, you should fight Randy then. I'd end up curing your chronic boredom, you know? Where is he? Where is Randall? Well, I don't know. I have no clue where he could be right now, to be frank. Why not ask around town? Uh, where should I start? Well, I'm sure most stores in the city have band ready for the parking lots for bombing out their customers. That might be a good place to start. Okay. 
We're gonna go find Randy, guys. We're gonna go find love. Chapter two, to assist a bum. Local phone shop. Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Why'd you want her in here, Rambu Live? A phone shop of all places. I doubt they do repair it when people will stitch together flesh heads, you know? If that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flesh thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatever's up with you as of late. Something wrong, Rambu Live? The phone. Someone... Someone answer the phone! Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. What's up? What are you hauling for, hon? Where am I? Is, is this heaven? No, this place is too drab for that. River, the river sticks? I don't know how to pronounce that. Perhaps. Oh, I get ya. Because of all the phone cases. Those ain't skulls, son. They're just empty cases. I don't understand. Do you want to understand? No, I thrive in ignorance. Leave me be. All right, so be it then. I'll see you around then. Green. <laughs> So what now? I just I I'm we did it guys. Okay, so he's not there. He's not there. Let's go. Let's go to let's go to the downtown. Let's go to the downtown area. Let's talk to a nearby passerby. Hello? Hello, hello. Oh no, this guy's British. Oh hey there. You need something, friend? Who are you? Identify yourself. Oh, uh, I'm a... Uh... You can call me Harry if you like. Sorry. Is there anything specific I can help you out with? Running late for work, and if I'm in the door even a moment after noon, Mr. Kenny will have my hide for brunch when he eats at the ripe hour at 5 p.m. Hmm. Have you seen Randy? Randy? Randy. Uh, the name rings a bell, all right. Where would I know him from? You ever seen a man get dragged away by a swan, quick kicking and screaming? Oh, that Randy. I'll be honest with you. It's been a long time since I've ran into him. I remember I used to work over the nearby burger joint now see if there's any jobs going to the fast food place I worked at a while back. This is between us. Randy's a nice guy and all, but I can't picture him in a sweaty in a sweaty bear suit. One slip in one of those things, and you uh oh, Bear suit, you say? <laughs> it just like actually like froze. I'm sorry. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for this. I just actually like froze. <laughs> like I just I just went uh, and then just stopped. <laughs> like I I I I I I straight up didn't have like a thought. Like that was crazy. It's like my brain just turned off for a second. That was awesome. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. It's the name of the restaurant I work at. Yeah. One God's dreams and Earth names for fast food joint bear. Reach into the choir, buddy. <laughs> Reason to the choir. Anywho, you can ask around at the Dial Town Burger Joint. I think the name of that place is Bunny's Burgers, if I recall correctly. Ooh, okay, I think we got it. Never been myself. The guy who's owned it is a huge hecker man, though. Excuse my French. He certainly is, yes. Choose me away every darn time I sift the windows at his restaurant. Granted, couldn't be any worse than my boss. You ever smell a rotting body before? Yes, many times. Next question. Huh. All right, then. Well, uh, if you think a corpse smells bad, then try working for one. Yeah. You honestly think a creature that hasn't blinked in a decade knows what a legally mandated toilet break is? Huh? Harry, you doing good? You doing all right, man? Yeah, if you want to find Randy, Randy I'd ask at the nearby burger joint. Thanks, Harry. You're a star. Aw, oh, shucks. FNAF. 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 It's FNAF. It's FNAF. Desaf. Two people said Desaf right next to each other, and I find that really funny. Oh, it's because it's day shift at Freddy's. Oh. I just thought that two people misspelled it. I see. I'm the fool. <laughs> Where'd you like to go? Uh, where's the burger joint? Wait, how do we go to the burger joint? The local burger place. There it is. Found it. Well, Rambu Live, can you see Randy in there? Uh, no one's in there hunched over weeping, so doubtful. Damn, that would have been universal indicator, all right. Seeing when they're running from swans or begging for change, perhaps? I'll ask, no to both. Do you have any other ideas? Sniff relentlessly at the glass. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not me. Wait, I, I didn't, they have, uh, they have sound effects. They have sound effects. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that they had sound effects. 
That first one was me. That second part wasn't me. Um, maybe I have. I'm so sorry. Hey, we're talking about this. Get away from the glass, or I'll Randy. Randy. Yeah. What? What about him then? Someone told me that he used to work here. Well, yeah, he did. I fired that out long. I fired that loud a long time ago. That happened last time. Did it? Wait, with the glass thing. That also happened last time. Oh, uh... <laughs> That's not me. Oh, this is this is terrible. Oh. Oh God, I am just the same person. Oh no. As it stopped him from burrowing under my skin, though, like the human tick he is. You know what they say? Give a man an inch. And then Randy lives in your dumpster. Sorry, wait, whoa. Let me sneeze, please let me sneeze. Please let me sneeze, please let me sneeze. I need to sneeze, I need to sneeze. No! God, sorry. I really needed to sneeze, but then I couldn't. Now I'm upset. All right, so have you, are you saying that Randy's in your dumpster right now? Yes. Huh, odd. Hey, at least he pays rent, which means he at least compensates me for my wasted time, unlike some people. Uh, you, you know, okay, I, I can take a hint, man. You know, I know where I'm at wanted. Then please, phone lord, go take that hint. We found him, guys. We found Randy. Look upwards and towards the light to help sneeze. I don't know if it's working or not, but now I just sound kind of weird because I'm looking up. And when you look up, your, your voice sounds different because you're looking up and your throat is weird. Because you're not supposed to talk when you're looking up. Your guys' your guys' voices change when you look up, right? That's not that's not just me. No, not that much. Uh oh. That's gonna be like a symptom of something. What happens if I look down and speak? What happens there? What happens there? Oh wow, this is this is weird. This one's this one's even more weird. I swear that I'm not like doing a bit or something. This is just like I'm trying to speak as normal as possible right now. That's something I look down. Thank you, anonymous gifter, for the five tier ones. Thank you so much. The, the, the you're 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 the you're the you're the you're the like the you're like a you're like Batman, all right? You're like Batman with your whole secret identity and everything, huh? You, what you think you're better? You think you're better than just because you're anonymous? What you, you you ashamed? You ashamed or something? You secretly are you secretly someone that someone that I know? Mm -hmm. Is that is that what you're trying to do? What games are you playing anonymous? I'm watching you. All right Why would you just want to give me something if not to receive something in return? Receive me saying your name and thank you next to it for your support So I can make better content What are you playing at here? A punk? I'm not gonna play your game. All right, you're playing my game Thank you for the five tier once, but I'm watching you. Okay. Where is he? Call out to him Rambu live Use your voice. Too much just happened there. Too much just happened there. That was incredibly timed. Randall, I summon thee. Thank you, Outfire Alex, for five to once. Hey, oh, hold on a moment. I'm, I'm coming. Please don't leave, unless you're an angry taxman, in which case, please do. Hun, it's me. It's Rambu Live. A sentence I will hopefully one day say. To an actual person. And if, you, if you're if you not thinking that I'm not referring to myself as Rambu Live whenever I get the chance, then you are solely mistaken. I haven't used my real name in years. I'll just Rambu Live, baby. Oh, phone lord. Definitely don't go anywhere. Hold on. Uh, hey. It's so good to see you. Uh, oh, oh, phone god. I haven't even scrubbed the wax out of my receiver pores. I... You, you look nice. Aw, I... I, I look nice. You're not so bad looking yourself, my garbage nectar soaked hunk. Please don't tell me that. Me being soaked in garbage used to secure over you. <laughs> I just don't want to say that second one, so I'm just going to read out the first one. Would you rather I despise you for it? Finger slipped. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> Stop saying such things. Stop talking. Ah, well, welcome to <laughs> Casa del Randy, I suppose. <laughs> Don't bother wiping your feet. They'll just get filthy again as soon as you enter. Trash is my element, Randy. My feet literally can't get any dirtier. I, I mean, you know, you might smell like trash, but I just assumed it was, uh, like, the smell of your egg, egg juices. That spe that's, that species, I don't even know what he said. Alas, you are also indeed correct, yes. Yeah, I assumed as much. I've never seen it. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Everything is good besides that plot point. I just want to skip over that plot point. Uh, this whole poverty thing you've got going on, you know, living in a dumpster, working awful jobs and whatnot. Why'd you choose this lifestyle anyway? Oh God. How'd you end up in this boat? My life's a boat that it's the Titanic. Titanic, yes. Right now. I love the Titanic, dude. It's sick. Uh, don't get me wrong. That's an excellent question, but boy, oh boy, I don't want to answer it. You can drop the topic if you're not comfortable. No, I... Sigh. Did you know it sank? Wow. Truly incredible. Recover sure until you played Tile Town. Then dot dot dot. <laughs> what? I'm still comforting. Picks are concerned, but now I need to get all this off my chest. But not here. The gentleman doesn't just brandish his unmentionables in any old burger place alley. Did you want me to come inside? Please do, yes. Time to take the plunge. Oh, just, you know, climbing like a cesspool. I've never been cesspool in my life, Randy. And I don't wish to change my wicked ways for you. Oh, ooga, into the trash I go. Well, here we are. Place looks uh, a little nicer from the outside, doesn't it? That's not saying much, Randy. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, the outside is a literal dumpster. Okay, okay, I get it. Just making sure you knew. That you know, living in a dumpster and all. Believe me, I know. But hey, you're right. This place is pretty crummy. I'll admit, the outside probably just looks better for me because half the time I see the outside, I'm leaving home to go someplace nicer. Like work, which is, come to think of it, really no nicer than here. Between being here or being mauled by swans, I blow my brains out. That's encouraging. Yeah, vocal cords are hilarious, but your neck affects the... What are you saying? Hold on, let me read that. Uh, the position of your neck affects the vocal cords. Through this, because I'm training cor coral mutes. Actually, really interesting. What are you doing here? I think people have, like, actually, like, interesting, like, professions and jobs and everything. Like, just really cool talents. And then they're here. So, uh... About that tragic backstory of yours. Oh, right. Uh, well, look. Much like myself, my life story is pretty needless and pathetic. Damn, dude, are you okay? See, it all started when I was born, as most stories do. Unfortunately, I was born a mere infant at zero years of age. Couldn't walk, couldn't talk. I just lay in my own face, fate faces? Until I got changed. But look how far you've come. I'm living in a dumpster. Exactly. Nowadays, you can walk, you can talk. Now you get to lie in other people's. Well, when you put it like that, I sound a solid 3% less pathetic. I mean, that's not a whole lot, but uh, it's still 3 whole percent less pathetic than I was 10 seconds ago. Weren't you telling me about your dreadful life? Oh, right. Well, you know, I've, I've, I've largely lived a perfectly adequate life. Perfectly adequate, bordering on mediocre, that is. I had an admittedly rather lousy apartment, worked full-time at the burger place whose dumpster we were squatting in right now. Then, one day, I decided to do something I'd rarely done before. I decided to try something new. Awful idea. New crevices in a business may be filled with hazards and misfortune. You're telling me. Sorry, let me continue. I decided to go to the fun fair. Same time that you and I visited on our first date. Oh, interesting. Explains how you and, you and Ticket Jerry knew each other. Yeah, Jerry's incredibly familiar with both me and the immense- Oh, shoot, I've skipped. Uh, by the way, Jerry really doesn't seem comfortable around you. He's right out to me. I bite. So do rabbit street dogs and swans, but I've never seen Jerry so much as consider calling animal control on those creatures. Granted, if he did, it'd be me that turn up after he calls in, and then he'd just see me getting mauled by boring hounds and swans from the other side of the glass. Anyway, visiting the fun fair with my then date turned out to be a truly abysmal idea. Did a clown honk at you? No, no, I, uh... But clowns aren't even real. Oh, so the, the government wants us to think. Sorry, continue. Well, after realizing that I was too much of a shameless coward for any ride that moved faster than the hot dog stand, which was stationary, I realized that my date was getting really bored with my crippling cowardice. As I desperately glazed around the nearby vicinity for an attraction, any attraction, I was brave enough to go on. I noticed something in, off in the not so distant distance. An old fortune teller animatronic inside a tacky purple pine glass case cast aside in a barely lit corner of the fun fair, far away from the other attractions. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay. Ah, here we go. This is starting to make sense now. I like about to find out why you bailed at the end of our date. Yeah, the thing is... The thing looked half deserted, and you know what? It probably was, being a tacky animatronic shoved into a barren corner of the fun fair. From what I could see, only spiders and molds seemed to take much notice of the machine. But even the name of the machine fits its appearance. I am mediocre. I felt drawn to it, as if the machine and I were somehow... Kindred. Ooh, this is interesting. Anywho, deciding to approach that thing ended up being a train wreck and a half. The machine fall on your foot or something? No, I, uh... Steal your date? Not literally, no. Then what happened? I was getting to that part. I crept over to the old machine and carefully slipped a quarter into its coin slot. Is my guy trying to hook up with a Nikon? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that just really got me. <laughs> that just that just really got me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really funny. My last quarter. Just like that, the machine sprang to life, lights and all. Then a hazy pre-recorded voice emanated from the small speaker embedded in the mannequin's torso. Place your hands upon my glass and I shall read your aura and gaze upon your future. I was terrified, admittedly. I mean, I already had a real-life woman next to me, as is. I might be able to triple date at that point. My date reassured me. I slowly outstretched both my hands to place them against the murky old glass of the machine. The moment my palms so much as brushed the surface of the glass, the machine started screaming at me, as if I just set off an air raid siren. The same words over and over again, at a deafening volume. Your future is forfeit. You will die alone and miserable. <laughs> Go. <laughs> oh, man. Over and over and over again. My poor baby. Wait for it. It gets worse. I'm not going to lie. What followed wasn't exactly my finest hour. And phone call for me, my, for my tortured shrivel going at actually managed to be on any kids. I don't want to remember for this after I'm gone. But what did you do? Well, my fight or flight response cl clicked in. I screamed like a previous girl and throttled the machine. And the machine fell onto your foot? How do you keep insisting that the machine fell onto my foot? You're saying that it definitely didn't. In a way, I guess it did. The machine fell straight on top of me. Whole body. Oh no. The machine kept wailing for the entire ordeal while I was pinned under it. It took four men to lift the machine off of me. I was pretty banged up, but hey, I noticed that my head was just about in one piece, meaning that I was still very much alive. Christmas miracle. It wasn't Christmas. Oh. It is! It is, though! In one minute! For people that are in, uh, one of the, one of the STs, I don't know, uh, wow! MST, MST! I stumbled around, immediately having a pretty gnarly concussion. My date asked if I was okay, and I, uh, kind of stumbled hands first. And ooh, ooh. She responded to by screaming and pushing me, causing me to fall backwards, hitting my already damaged head on a nearby rock, which caused my entire head to be deep into my circuits and wires to spill out. Ooh, you spilled your disgusting cranium innards all over the place. God, how embarrassing! I woke up in the emergency room a few days later. Apparently, the doctors just about managed to patch me back up with some considerable difficulty. Yo! Merry Christmas to those in MST. And now we, we enter the, the final hour for EST. I think that I want to just talk with chat for a little bit. So I'm gonna save this here. I will either play this again on like a mainstream or on an alt stream. So I'll, I'll save it. It's saved. File three is saved. So we're definitely good. Okay, I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end the game now.